Hello everybody, I am back at Penny Hen Farms with Sean Higgins from the Modern Yeoman and today we are going to be fixing the electrical system in his barn. Hey Sean. Hey there. Uh, so his barn has electrical. electrical? It does. Electric? Electric. That's the right, proper way to say it. <laughs> uh, but it doesn't work. So we're going to... does not. No. So we're going to see if we can get that fixed today and allow him to have some light in the evening when he's working on his barn. You ready for this Sean? As ready as I'm going to be. Let's Good. give it a shot. All right, cool. Let's go. All right, so, let's take a look at this. So yeah, have... so there's a couple of issues here. What we think happened, this is actually your thinking, Nate. Um, there's there's one line that runs from this light pole. Yeah, and I think we determined that was ground. That was a ground line. There's this one line. Um, but there's also two other lines right, that those ran are out. Positive. So you have you have two circuits coming from the house, two 20 amp circuits, mm -hmm. and then you have two 20 amp breakers on the side of the barn. So I'm thinking yes. that these two downed wires are your positives, yes. and the one that's remaining is is the ground, the neutral. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you know. What happened to it? Was it an act of God, like some sort of some sort of windstorm knocked it down? What we're thinking is that somebody drove their their truck through or something and just pulled these wires out. And so what once was an unbroken connection of three wires is now just two or it's just one wire. And these two wires you can see where they split. So, you know, allowing for Hotness. Yep. And that, I'd still think we're a good. You're missing some. You're missing some feet. A good ten feet, eight feet or so. Yep. Same on this side. So. Stretch. Yep. You're yeah. missing some There's feet. There's no way it's gonna. And you can. <laughs> this. I mean, you look how sketchy this was. This reminds me of the scene in Back to the Future where Doc is trying oh. to fit the two. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what we could do, Sean, is I'm thinking. What we could do is, if we want to test one of these circuits, because each of these is one circuit, right? So Should we be, could yeah. take the missing eight feet off of one of these lines and connect just one of the lines over and see if we actually get power. Well, see, I was act I was on the same track from what I was thinking, uh, but you'll notice, and I don't know if I noticed this the last time, there are two lines oh. that run to this old shed, oh, yeah, this old manger here, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. There's a single light bulb in here. Maybe there's an outlet. Yeah, there's an outlet. Mm -hmm. But I, I can't foresee myself ever really needing power to this tiny little shed, ever. Um, if I don't just tear the darn thing down mm -hmm. altogether, to be honest with you. Um, so what I'm thinking is I take these two wires. Yep. They're currently they're currently joined in this little unholy union up there. Yep. <laughs> uh, taking them down and using them as the uh, the gap wire. Yeah. There you go. That's right. what I'm thinking. Now, the one thing I'm unsure about there's a red wire and a black wire. Is that that's just purely just visual it's just so we can pretend one of those yep. is the red wire and pretend one is the black wire it doesn't matter okay cool and so to connect them to join them we've got these guys right here yep they said that either the blue or the yellow maybe even the red should work to connect them yep. with crimper. crimper tool yep. the yellow is the crimper so that should give us what we need Yep. Okay, so we got power. We do indeed. All right. So, take either the dumb or the brave step yeah. of things we have. Yep. Oh, yeah. We got, yep, we got voltage. Okay. All right. Barn is one and three, and they are off. As long as you're not holding one end with your hand here and the other end with your hand here mm -hmm. and then it does this circuit. circuit and then it causes your muscles to spasm and you can't let go but if you're just doing a light thing and you get you can drop it so let's just verify that we're off again all right 
seeing nothing. I'm touching. I'm not okay. seeing anything. All right. We are golden to start connecting. We verify that it has power when the circuit breakers are on, no power when they're off. So good to go. So we have completed uh, repairing the two broken lines. It's a little bit on the backyard mechanic jerry rigged uh, type repair. So right now Sean is just finishing up patching some of the um, barrel lines in the cable with some electrical tape and then we'll give it its maiden voyage. Should I go turn it on now? What's that? Should I go turn <laughs> it on now? <laughs> I, was, I was having this vision of us testing it out. Uh -huh. And as soon as we turn on the breakers, the entire barn just <laughs> it explodes. Goes up in, it goes up in flames. <laughs> <laughs> you, okay, well that then sparks the next question. Is your insurance? Sparks yeah, the sparks, next question. Yes, correct. <laughs> Is your insurance up to date? Our home insurance, I think we got it for a year. Good. We're only two months deep in this place. So. All right. Does it include the outbuildings? I don't know. That's actually a good question. <laughs> Let's go check the rider before yeah. we turn it on. <laughs> we do have a fire extinguisher hanging out and that uh, hose, so. Okay. And you got plenty of water in your catchment we, barrels. We, yeah, that's right. Hey, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> to show you the jerry-rigged system we got here. Look at that. That's just beautiful. Hey, so we hope standard too. It's going to work. <laughs> I know it's going to work because it has tape. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good motto in life, right? All right, so here we go. Yep. Get ready to hear crackling, explosive noises. So this is the breaker to the barn, and it's on. It's hot. So far, there's been no catastrophic explosions. That's good. Let's test this node with this light to see if this is still working. And it is. That light's on. Moment of truth. We go turn on the breakers in the barn. Those work. Look at that. We got that. All right, now let's test out the uh, this light. So this is a brand new light bulb. I just put that in. Let's see what happens. Nothing. OK. Well. No go on that, huh? No go on that, but we got something. Well, we got one set of lights working. Yeah, when I had it in place and I turned it on, I heard sizzling. Oh. That's why I had you turn it off really quickly. <laughs> um, and then I tested each of these and I didn't hear any sizzling and power was going to the bulbs. And then when I turned that thing back on again, it was sizzling. This is the issue. Yep. But out of all of the problems that we could have found, mm -hmm. This is the best one because it's a very easy very, fix. Very easy fix. So I just go to Lowe's or Home Depot. Yep. How much do you think one of these would cost? I have no idea. Five bucks, ten bucks. I'll keep this one mm -hmm. as a reference. Yep. Yeah. Nate, you saved the day. You Woo! saved our barn, Nate. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't go up in flames. It Woo! did not go up in flames. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna pop the. Um... Yep. Sweet. That's cool. You came out here with a mission on your mind. I and did. That was to fix this barn's yes. electricity. Absolutely. And you I wasn't, did. I was mission not gonna give accomplished. Up. I was not gonna give up. <laughs> so this is huge. This is gigantic. This is really big. Woohoo.